Okay, so today we're going to look at taking the soft top off um, uh, completely with the frame, remove the whole lot. And um, the reason we're doing that is that this zip is broken, the zip here. Uh, so I can't get the window to stay in place. I've tried putting Velcro in to use that instead of a zip um, and that simply isn't working for me uh, it just the, the velcro is um, uh, a self stick and it, although it sticks to the fabric okay when you um, connect the two pieces up it won't stay in position for very long any force basically causes it to go um, and you can't get the window particularly tight, so it's really, you know, fine for very temporary purposes, but uh, not very usable. So, um, we're going to try taking this off. It looks like, if we um, look in here at the mechanism, really we only have to unhook this and then take out a couple of bolts along here. And that looks like everything should come out then, as far as I can tell. Um, but um, the Haynes manual says to remove the back seat, to remove the backrest, to remove these. And I'm guessing that's going to give me proper access um, so that I can really see everything. So I think we'll go that route. Um, we will take it all out. So, uh, back seat comes out easily enough, that's just a lift up. Uh, and then the back rest, there are a couple of bolts um, up here, I think just along the back. So, we're going to take those out first. And uh, once we've taken those out, then it talks about there being some bolts to take these uh, side panels out. Now, I can't actually, when I come in here, I don't know how well easy this is going to be to see. Um, I can't see that, but what I can see is down here. Um, no, you can't, I really can't show you. Right, so what we're going to do is we will take the backrest off first, then we'll come back and have another look. Okay, so I've taken uh, that off, just two, two long bolts through here. And so we'll try turning this around. Now, so what we have here is we appear to have just um, a couple of screws down at the bottom. It doesn't appear to be fixed up further than that, although it's quite tight along the right. And then when it comes up to the top here, this is clearly all one piece. So it just looks like it's then fitted on here with these clips. These are kind of the upholstery, can I get it in? There we go. So it's fitted here with these upholstery clips to keep it nice and tight. I'm, I have to say I'm reluctant to take that out. Um, haven't done it before on the chairs. I know what a pain those are to get back in and get looking nice. Um, but that does seem to be everything to to move it. So we'll take the screws out and then we'll see if we have to take those off or fold it over. But that's the next step. So if we remove the two screws that I showed you at the bottom there, then we can lift that side panel out of the way, as we can see here. Okay, so that now comes clear, which gives us good access to everything in there now. So um, we'll do the other side and then we'll look at what we have to take off. Okay so we've got them loose on both the, the pa these panels, side panels loose on both sides but I've left all of this tacked on. Um, I can still only see two bolts that need to come off, one here and then one just further along. So I think it is just those two this one's easy to access. This one is um, the further one in. Uh, I think I might have to move 
the soft top in order to get to it. So we'll have a look at that. Um, we'll start with the one and then we'll see where we are with the other. Just falling over inside the car. Right, so from inside the car, this is the bolt I couldn't get at before. So um, with the hood, the soft top back, you know, lying, um, this reclining position, those are easy to get at. And when it's up high, then we can get at the, um, the back bolt. So we'll take the front ones out and then we'll do the back ones. And hopefully we'll be able to lift it free. So there's at least one more bolt that has to come out on each side. And that's in here. I don't know if I can get a good view of that. There's a bolt here which you can access through these access holes, which is why this siding needs to come off. And this is holding it onto the B post. So those come off. And then I've already undone the springs, but there's also this bar here. If you push that out, then it actually all starts to come free. So I'm going to leave that in place for now and take these two bolts out. So yeah, that bolt allows this all to come loose. So if I lift up on this now, you can see the whole, the whole thing moves. Uh, so now I need, just need to find someone to help me lift it off safely so that I don't scratch the paintwork. And then we can bolt everything back together and then look at how we go about trying to repair, do up this. Because I mean, I think, you see, that looks broken to me, this latch just here. Although this side, it hooks on, to, hooks on properly. The other side doesn't hook on properly. Um, causes me all kinds of trouble getting it out. Right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and um, ask a neighbour if they'll help me lift it out. So it's off. It's on the MG. I don't know where I'm going to put it, to be honest. Um, but we're going to put everything back together here now. And um, hard top will come on it over the weekend. And... Um, Yeah, that'll be it for a little while on this, whilst um, I've ordered a zip and I'm trying to find out what thread to get. And we're actually going to try sewing on a zip um, as a first portal call. And I think, um, I'm not sure what to do here is, you know, I could try going around it all and I guess the sensible thing is, given I've got it off, actually unbolt a lot of this and um, you know as we can see a lot of it could use a bit of a clean and a repaint so I think we might do that at the same time but um, that's not today's project that today's project was just getting it off which is what we've done and that's it all put back together so um, now we've just got to work out where I'm going to store this whilst I work on other stuff. Because having it there when I'm trying to do the clutch, and I'm going to take the clutch out next, uh, the master cylinder, clutch master cylinder is coming out next. Um, well, that's going to be tough with that on there, so we're going to have to work through that. I was thinking about this. I'm not going to, I'm certainly not taking the cover off the frame here, because um, if you look at this, it's all riveted on in lots of places with seal and stuff. So if I'm going to tidy this up, what I'm going to do is just go around it carefully, I think. No reason why that shouldn't be painted. And um, I guess possibly, well, I suppose there are some bits I could take apart. So that might come off. No, because it all then connects up here. So no, so I don't think it comes off um, without taking it all off. 
but what I might do is um, you know you just get in here and paint this bit with some um, rust protector and then spray it over um, and I think that will just to uh, you know um, preserve its life more than anything because we we got rust in there and at the moment it's surface rust uh, but I don't want it to become more than that so yeah so that's the plan is we're not going to try taking the the hood the soft top off the frame we're just going to try to work cleaning up that frame with the soft top on it um, but next is back to the MG and so I've got to find somewhere where I can store that a bit more sensibly um, and once I've done that I can look at the MG again Okay, it's several. It is several months since um, I took the soft top out of the car, and this is um, where it gets sewn on and the um, zip is, which is broken. So I have here a new zip, and I have here marine thread. Um, so it's waterproof and strong and all that kind of stuff, and. Um, I've tried pulling that apart and I can't, so it's really strong thread. And um, what we're going to, I've decided I'm going to do here is I'm not going to try to remove this um, zip. Um, I'm going to try to sew this one just over it like that. Okay, and so it will go through so the it's you know it's not going to be inside the um, material here. It's going to be on the outside, which isn't perfect. But um, for the few times that I would be using it, um, it would mean it's slightly looser as well because I'll have the teeth on this zip um, not at the same level, but slightly further over, and so we'd have it slightly looser, which would make it easier to get up and down. It just means it won't be as tight. Um, Again, not perfect, but um, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put some rubbish on TV to watch whilst I'm attempting to do this by hand. And uh, we'll come back in, say, an hour and see how far I've got. Well, I've been at this for now and 15 minutes and I've just tacked it in place on the one side so far. Um, I initially started trying to do it underneath this bit but um, I decided it was actually easier and stronger to go above so we swapped part well around the corner there and um, which I don't think will be a problem when we come to do it a bit more firmly because I think it will fold out um, so it's I didn't quite get far enough in here so it's a bit short there and then this zip seems to be longer because it's a lot longer here um, but that's it on the inside, so hopefully that'll be okay. So I'm just going to have a little break and decide if I want to tack in the other side as well and maybe do a test fitting, see how it looks before I go in further. I think that's probably the sensible thing to do, but we'll see. So we have it sewn up. And... Uh, um, and uh, the zip works. It works a bit better. It's hard to demonstrate, so it works a bit better if somebody stands on the end there, so it's taut. But if we just do it from here, um, you can see that that will fold down quite well. And it just a bit, it, it needs just a bit of tension in it to get it back up, which I'm not able to do one-handed, but. Um, so that gives us an idea. Now that was about, um, well, it's the following day. Um, so I've probably done 10 hours of sewing by hand. My fingers are very sore and tight now. Um, but the next step will be to um, deal with some of the rust on there and trying to paint that up. Somebody, and it's not going to be my wife, 
has a few hours of carpet cleaning to do now. So I think we'll end the episode there. Next episode on the um, stag will be finishing off that soft top and doing a trial fitting on the car to make sure it all zips up nicely there. <laughs>